Hi, welcome to the channel in the workshop. So today I bought this. So we're going to do a quick review on the Ferex cordless nail gun. We're going to see if it's any good or not. one that I could find on the market. Well, at the moment of doing this review it's on the internet on the Audi special buys and this was in store as well so I got picked this up today in store and it was only £84.99 which is a bargain. Like I say that's the cheapest brand new one I can find. been thinking about getting one of these for quite a while. I've got uh, a few air nail guns but I've not got a uh, cordless nail gun so I thought it was time. So that's what it looks like. Grey for some reason. Most of my Ferrex tools are all uh, blue but this one's grey and black. It's quite weighty. I'll show you a closer look in a minute. So we get the nail gun itself, the nail and staple gun. It fires staples as well. We've got the manual here. We've got some nails, and they don't. They just give you a few to try. So what have we got? We've got an Allen key. That would be for using on the front here if you get a nail jam and you can take that off and then uh, clear the nail out. So you just get a couple of uh, rows of the 50mm 18 gauge nails, brads and then these staples, 18 gauge staples there, 40 millimeters. Just a couple of rows of them. So there's a hundred in each row. So you've got 200 nails, 200 staples. But they're easy to get hold of these nails and staples. You can get them uh, off the internet and you know, off Amazon or uh, you can get the brads from places like Screwfix as well. So we get the battery with this, 18 volt battery, and then the charger. So that's everything in the box. Right, let me bring you closer in so you can take a better look at it. And then after that we'll uh, test it out plastic seems I was going to say that seems fairly tough there but that doesn't sound so tough at the top there even though that's all the same same body so I think that is just feels better there just because that's tied up against something because that's a bit hollow in there sounds a bit uh, cheapy not surprised though for the price but you would hope that this is made to take a bit of a bit of a knock in you know we'll have to see this is a rubber grip round there just to try and make it a bit more comfortable and uh, stop it slipping out your hands so much for some reason there's loads of oily stuff coming out of there yeah, it just smells like normal oil coming out from the switch. So like when they built this up, they've oiled something. And uh, it's leaking out of that switch. So yeah, just plastic, rubber grip. Here's the magazine that you load the staples into. We'll open that in a minute. So the switch on here 
and it's for if you're doing a single fire or you can turn that to be continuous uh, contact firing. What happens is it will fire every time you push it down on your workpiece and then it will fire. Personally I don't like using a nail gun like that. I'd sooner have it on just the normal, on the normal single firing. Just put it to where you want to fire it. Put it to where you want to fire it. So as well as that, it's got this, that's a belt hook on there. But these are heavy. That's heavy as it is now. When you get the battery on, obviously it's even more heavy. So if you haven't got a good belt on, your uh, trousers are going to be around your ankles or your shorts will be whatever you wear because that is pretty heavy and it's going to be pulling them down we've got a little LED light there that's for to let you know if it if there's a jam it will be flashing red and then low battery is just red green flashing is this overheating so uh, you just have to leave it to cool down and then uh, the green is the no nails there's no nails inside of it so that's just a bit of an indication thing of what's going on so there's an LED light here and the other side here for lighting up when you if you're using it in a cut dark corner or anything and that's switched on by a switch just there on behind the trigger there's a switch just there that switches that on. On here there's got a rubber tip that to stop you uh, marking your work so much. And then there's a spare one also just there on the back of the magazine. So if that one wears out or drops off and you lose it, you've got another one there. On here there's a clip that you press to open the magazine, just there. And this is where you load up... Uh, load up your nails so like I say they give you some 18 gauge these are 50 mil long but you can get smaller 50 mil is the maximum height, uh, like height of your nails and you load these in by putting the bottom right at the bottom of the slot there and then drop them in and then push them right up to the front and then push your magazine till it clicks shut like that okay so that's ready and loaded for uh, for nails obviously to release them again you pull undo the magazine with that and then just drop them out so staples are loaded in the same place as the nails but you push these right up to the top so the nails fit down to the bottom when you're loading them and then in staples push them up to the top and if you can see you'll know you're right but if you just keep them at the top and push them forwards you'll be right but at the front there there is a slot um, that these go in it goes into the slot there and over and in so you'll see that it goes into that slot when it's correct so when it moves right forward you know that they're in the correct position and the same again you just push it until it clicks like that and the staples are loaded up then these staples I think are the same as these let's have a look 90 series staples so if you look on the internet for 90 series 18 gauge staples They should fit. Let's try them in there. Yeah, they go in there, right? We'll try them in a bit anyway. So, uh, they fit in there. So, on the front here, there's an adjuster there, and that is to change your depth of uh, how far it knocks the nail or staple into your material into the wood sort of the uh, depth of what the head is whether the head's flush with the surface or whether you just want it 
just burying a bit below the surface so you can fill over the top or anything like that right i think we better get this uh, on charge this battery so you charge it obviously for the first time when you get it and this is supposed to be a one hour charge so uh, what i'll do i'll put it on the uh, charge and we'll uh, keep an eye on the time i'll come back to you when uh, it's fully charged up so we've got a red light when it's charging green light when it's done and that just slides on there and goes over the clip there and to get it back off again just press the button down and slide it off So we're at, uh, it's been charging for an hour and six minutes at the minute and it still hasn't turned green yet. Okay, just turned green just now. So that has took an hour and ten minutes. So uh, hopefully now it's been charged up, maybe next time it'll be more like an hour. Oh no. So these are Samsung batteries it says, it says that it's a 1.5 amp hour Samsung battery. So 18 volt lithium battery, uh, 18 volt 1.5 amp hour and 27 WH. And I know that there's a load of other Ferrex batteries that are not compatible with this. So you'll have to check if you're uh, planning on using other batteries with it. Right, so let's, we can give this a test now. So I've got some bits of wood here. Uh, I think I'll stand up so my face isn't near where I'm nailing. And you need glasses on for when you're firing it. So we've got some softwood here some hard american oak white oak that's rock hard that is bit of uh, ply some soft wood uh, so let's give it a go for a start and then i'll bring you in and show you close up of shooting the nails in because we've got to have a look at this depth stop as well see if that works properly so there's the led light if you switch on to there There's a green light on there saying there's no nails. There is a bit of a window there. It just uh, all it does is has a plastic piece in there if there's no nails in it. But when you put your nails in, that pushes back on the spring, so then it's clear. So now there's a hole through that window so the lights not on so uh, got rid of that no nails green light right I've got it switched on to single fire in there let's just try this LED light so I'm just pressing that LED light it's staying on so I don't know if it would go off after a bit But pressing the this button again doesn't do anything, it's just staying on. So, unless it's just going to stay there until you've fired. So, let's for a start, I'll just fire straight into this softwood. Oh, so there you go, that's nailed that to the uh, table. Lovely. <laughs> so, it shot straight through there because these are 50 mil nails. Right now it's got a red light flashing. That's saying a jam. If there's a jam, you're supposed to take the battery out. So 
that's not looking good for a first shot saying it's got a jam I can't see anything in there though let's load it back up we've got it loaded to the bottom as it should be do that up and that's not doing anything oh what a plonker won't do anything because I haven't put the battery back let's try that again still flashing so that red flashing light on there says jam let's try it so that didn't shoot anything for a start it shot something the second time and the light's gone now it's so that's shooting them right in let me see if I can bring you close that's burying them really deep in that softwood so let's just try moving this for a start let's see where that takes us if it takes it further in or out right that's let it come up now that's flush with the surface that nail so let's take it back a bit okay that's just taking it a bit under the surface now let's try it on contact firing so you just keep your finger on the trigger I think with this and and just pressing down like that so you can fire quicker with them I'll just try the staples and everything now I'll just take the battery off what I am finding a bit of a pain I'm not switching the LED light on this is that heavy that you're gripping here and you're accidentally having to grip and then pushing that light on anyway which is a bit of a pain let's try some staples then that they sent this is the 40 mil staples put them in put the battery in right let's shoot them into no nothing happening yet Maybe that's because you're not allowed contact firing. Let's put it on single shot. Maybe you can. Maybe it's just because I was using it, trying it wrong then. Let's, this is single. So there's single firing of the staples. Let's see if it does contact firing of staples. Yeah, it does. Oh. No, that's not they're not coming out now Let's see if it'll come out if I put it on single firing again no nope. so that seems to have jammed and not said that it's jamming there Let's take that back to it sticking out at the minute so I don't know if let's try see if the depth will take them back any take them further in that's gone in a bit further no oh, that one's out let's go right the other way Try the uh, 90 series staples that I showed you. 
see if they do work. So staples, load them right up the top, make sure they locate at the front there, push them on, put the battery in, let's give this a go. Yep, it's firing them okay. Good. This is supposed to be able to fire 400 nails to one charge. So four strips of uh, nails to one charge. Right, I've got some 30 millimeter brads here, or nails. Uh, they're 18 gauge again. These are some that I've got for my air nail guns. So let's just try them. They should work okay as well. Because obviously you're shorter your nails, the less work it is on the uh, nail gun trying to knock them in. Right, so this is shooting through oak. That shoots that okay. This is rock hard, it really is, this stuff. So at the minute I've got 30 millimeter brads in. So that's shooting into them. Let's change this without changing the battery. Taking the battery out. Um, so back with the 50 mil. at the minute look at that that's going through three layers ply uh, white wood and this is hardwood at the bottom and it's not let's see if I can hold it down see if it'll take push them right in no it can't hack that can't put drive that through all them three layers let's try it back on this softwood again yeah it buries that down so let's see if it will shoot through this oak with this uh, 50 millimeter nail into this softwood. No, it doesn't like that. No, don't like that. I'll put the bits that I need to nail outside with this, so I'll just take this and try it. that was a fail outside that's because it's uh, trying to fire through hardwood uh, again so I'd say stick to softwood with this because yeah, it seems what I've got it for that's shooting through uh, 50 mil shooting through three quarter inch softwood into softwood there And that's doing that fine so what do we reckon then well if you're only uh, planning on nailing softwood then yes that's okay but hardwood's a bit of a struggle for it so the real problems with this is I hate this LED because I don't want it on but this button's supposed to be for switching it on but like I say this is that heavy and you need to grip round here that you accidentally press in the button anyway whether you want it on or not uh, another thing is you got to get used to this releasing on the uh, magazine that's on the back of there because if you do it like I did for a start because I'm used to mine having the unlocking mechanism on the same side as you load it uh, when you do that, obviously your nails and stuff drop out. So you've got to get used to that, that it's on that side. Uh, if you're planning on doing a lot with it, you're going to have to try and find where you're going to be.
be able to get another battery because uh, you know you're going to need one on charge I think and while the uh, while you're using the nail gun have one charging while you're using it but like I say this says that you're supposed to be able to get 400 shots out of one charge which is four rows of uh, four rows of nails like that when it's shooting staples I, I don't find that I've got as much depth control on it as you do with nails so really I think the best points for it is it's for na uh, like it's best for nailing and for nailing softwoods but obviously you make up uh, your own minds I suppose for the price of this compared to a lot of others you can't complain so this model is CCT18GW and I suppose the 18 and the G like is for 18 gauge and like I say you can get if you get staples look for 90 series ones and they'll fit in this maximum 40 millimeters uh, what's the lowest you can go let's have a look on here uh, I just got the maximum ones on there but there is a little thing on here a little gauge so they've got for staples going 40 millimeters down to 19 millimeters for the nails it's 50 millimeters down to 20 millimeters another good thing about this is it comes with a three-year warranty which is really good so uh, if anything goes faulty apart from the battery if it goes faulty there you got a three year guarantee on it which is good my big test for this is going to be when I start doing the shed um, but that will be later on so this was just a quick quick look at it because I'm doing this video now because at the minute they are in like I say you can get these from uh, the Aldi special buys online but I don't know how long they're going to be there for but they keep coming round these keep coming round in store now and again anyway so uh, I've been umming and ahhing for quite a long time about whether I should get one and because I've got this job coming up I thought I would so I think it will come in handy doing that hopefully I'll give you some information so you can make up your own mind whether it's worth getting one or not but like I say this is the cheapest one that I can find so thank you for watching if you like the video if you can give us a thumbs up that'd be great if you haven't already subscribed to in the workshop it'd be great if you could subscribe it'd be great for you to follow along you do a bit of all sorts in here so thanks a lot for watching take care